All right. That was a quick crash course. Uh, if you want to know more about Bash, obviously, man, Bash is a good place to start. There's also something called, um, well, so there's a couple of places you can look online. There's the actual Bash reference manual. This is essentially a expanded version of the man page. So this has everything you would ever need to know about Bash organized by chapter. And then if you want things like a lot of examples, there's this thing called the Advanced Bash Scripting Guide. And this is kind of really the be all and end all if you want examples of every possible thing you could ever do in the Bash language, including you know a lot of cool scripts. Um, there's stuff in there. Also, if you search for something like you know, file sorting bash script or rename bash script, you're going to find scripts online. A good way to learn this is basically to download the script online, go through it, figure out what it does, and modify it for whatever you need to do, and then keep using it. And you can essentially build up a collection of scripts that then are handy in a lot of situations. Um, also, when at some point in your life you get handed some job like I have a giant file tree and you need to go through it and remove any file that was modified prior to a certain date. You know Bash, you can write a Bash script, it'll mean it's going to take you 10 minutes to write that Bash script, five of which will be looking up which equals sign is to compare to a date, right? Because there's a way to do that. And then you'll run the command and you'll be done with that job, which would take someone doing it by hand hours. It can be done in five minutes, right? So um, it's an incredibly powerful language. It's great for automating jobs, automating things in Linux, automating programs. It's good for text processing. It's good for file processing. When you start to get more advanced like that, scripting languages like Python uh, and scripting languages like Perl were invented to kind of deal with what you, I mean, Bash kind of started it. Well, Shell started it. Bash expanded a little bit. Perl expanded it even more, especially with like string processing. And then Python went and turned it into a full-blown object-oriented, so on and so forth. Program. All right. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Next week, uh, I think we're doing SSH and remote connections and using Linux across the network and all that fun stuff. So same time, same place in here. Thanks for coming. These will be online.